Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today, we're going to be talking about loose skin. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. You start getting healthy, and you just become a better person. You need to start focusing more on the individual. Real quick, everybody, I just wanted to let you know, for everybody who was interested in coming on the Cancun trip, we are starting to run out of rooms. So even though we're quite a bit a ways out from the trip, if you've been putting off booking it, um, I, would, I would ask you not to do that. If you want to come, make sure to get your room reserved at the very least, get your deposit in because we are starting to run out of rooms. They're limited. Um, and I want everybody who wants to come to be able to come. So make sure you guys get that taken care of. I'll leave the links for the trip in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Cancun. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about loose skin. And it's really shocking to me that I have not done a video exclusively about loose skin yet. I thought I did, but I think the video I did that I thought this video was, that didn't make sense. Uh, the video that I did that I thought was about loose skin was actually about uh, shrink, the fasting shrink week. So loose skin, when it comes to losing weight, is one of the uh, main things that people fear, believe it or not. And uh, if you're looking to lose 50, 70, 100 pounds or more, then you could be prone to loose skin. Now, traditionally speaking, if you're going to be dieting and exercising, you're almost always going to have loose skin, losing large amounts of weight like that. There's a couple of factors that, that go into this. How long have you been overweight? How quickly did you gain the weight? Uh, you know, People want to mention genetics and things like that. This is stuff you've already heard. I don't think any of this is really a game changer for avoiding loose skin. It's really just information that doesn't really help you. So today we're going to talk about what are the factors that actually can help you reduce or eliminate loose skin. And um, the, the very first thing as it, as it relates to weight loss that's going to help you reduce loose skin is how you lose the weight. Okay. So traditionally speaking, if you use diet and exercise as your main method of losing weight, you are going to have a high likelihood of having loose skin. Now, like I said, there's factors that play into that that may or may not you know, affect whether you have loose skin. But if you go about losing the mass majority of your weight that way, then the probability of you having loose skin is really high. So how can you avoid that? Well, obviously, we promote water fasting on this channel. And what we have found is that by utilizing pure water fasting, you can reduce or eliminate loose skin altogether. And what I'm saying is, you can reduce loose skin to the point where it's not fearful. It's not something that you got to be worried about. Now, when we go on YouTube and we put in loose skin, you'll see guys who are completely ripped and shredded and they can pull their skin up off their body like it's a shirt. OK, when we talk about loose skin, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about fat. We're not talking about a little bit of pudge. We're talking about the ability to stretch your skin off your body as if it's a shirt. That is what we're referencing when we're talking about loose skin. Everything else is just normal, right? So here's the thing. When you do water fasting, there is a process that happens uh, called autophagy. And autophagy essentially is the process of uh, the body, the body, um, healthy cells absorbing old cells and kind of reusing uh, that cellular material. And essentially what we get is your body starts eating the dead protein and reusing it. And so you don't get stuck with all this extra skin. One thing that you could do that can block this process is take minerals and electrolytes during your fasting process. So I very first noticed this when I actually was researching the snake diet because people kept talking to me about this snake diet and I wanted to see what it was all about. So I joined their Facebook group and what I noticed was people were losing a ton of weight, very similar to a healthy alternative. The big difference was people had a ton of loose skin. It was no different from the guys who were dieting and exercising. And I thought that that was so weird. 
and I couldn't figure it out until I started seeing this concoction, this snake juice that they were putting together. And I said, okay, well, that's the only difference between what we're doing and what they're doing. Cole teaches fasting just like I teach fasting. The only difference is electrolytes, okay? Now, I'm not gonna get into electrolytes on this video, but I have talked about it in other videos. You can look up um, electrolytes. If you just go to my channel and look up search electrolytes, you'll see my video talking about them specifically. But what I wanna say is if your concern is electrolytes, you can fast with juice, fresh squeezed juice, plant material has electrolytes in it. The problem and the difference between what I teach and what Cole teaches is he's teaching a, uh, you know, salts and other inorganic materials that are being used to make this snake juice, all right? What you wanna be using is organic materials that absorb very readily into your system and aren't gonna disrupt any of the processes that fasting goes through. And so you can avoid this by just drinking juice if that is your prerogative. You can also, if you're concerned about minerals and things like that, you can also take a, a whole multivitamin or a whole vitamin uh, while you're fasting, okay? Now, once again, I'm not saying that you have to do these things, but if this is your concern and this is your belief, that's fine. Just do it in the most natural way po possible. You want to use plant material, okay? Because it's organic and it will absorb into the body and it will not you know, uh, obstruct any of the processes that you're getting from fasting. It's going to have the most, the least detrimental effect on your, uh, you know, your overall fasting process and thus reducing or even completely eliminating the possibility of loose skin. Now, a while ago, maybe two years ago now, John and I did a video talking about his process. He had lost, I think, uh, at the time, maybe 70 or 100 pounds, I don't remember, 70 pounds. And we were posting pictures and we were talking about how to lose weight without having loose skin. John had literally a little bit of fat on his chest at the time and a little bit of fat on his, uh, like below his belly button. And people were in the comment section, oh, he still has loose skin. There's loose skin right there. That's loose skin, loose skin, loose skin, loose skin, okay? And it really, really is annoying because at the end of the day, I understand what they're saying, but when, when we talk about loose skin, if we're not on the same page, then this is going to go way over your head. Please, before you come on the page or the comment section talking about, oh, he still has loose skin, and this, that, and the other, go on YouTube and just look at, just type in loose skin so you can understand what we're talking about. Okay, a little bit of fat on your, on your chest or underneath your belly, that is not what we're talking about when we're talking about loose skin. Yes, it's actually technically loose skin, but that is not what people are fearful of. That's just, it, anybody can have that. What we're talking about is the stuff that you could pull off your body. It looks like a sheet of skin coming off your body, and this is what people are dealing with. There are people who you know, will lose 100 pounds, 200 pounds, and have 20 pounds of loose skin. I mean, can you imagine? So I really want you guys to go look on YouTube so you understand what I'm talking about so that you're not in the comment section talking about, oh, he still has loose skin, loose skin, because it just becomes irritating having to like go behind each comment and be like, please research what loose skin is. Please look at what loose skin is, right? But anyway, that's just a pet peeve of mine. Um, it really isn't that many people doing it. It's probably just a handful of people. But every time I respond and it just gets old because I'm trying to be helpful. Like I want people to understand what loose skin is. And I don't want anybody to be discouraged and be like, oh, yeah, he does have loose skin. This isn't going to work. Like, yes, it does work. The thing I wanted to point out is John, as he continued his process of fasting and, and you know, working out and everything he's been doing, has eliminated that little bit of fat that was on his chest anyway. So even though people you know, were pointing it out at the time, he still eliminated it. The difference is what we're talking about when we talk about loose skin, that stuff doesn't go away. I mean, you, like once you guys get on YouTube and you really look these guys up, you'll see they're shredded. Like they will, they, I mean, these guys work out all the time and they have this, all this skin, okay? That stuff doesn't go away. 
right? Without, without having a proper understanding of the body, I'm not saying that they can't get rid of it, but what I'm saying is using the methods that they use, they're gonna either have to get surgery or they're gonna have to deal with it. A lot of them wear compression clothing. And it, here, I mean, a really good example, John doesn't need compression clothing, okay? You know, if people say, oh, he still has a little skin. No, he doesn't. Like, the people we're talking about, they use compression clothing because although they have the, mus the muscles and everything, their skin is still just, it's not tight. So fasting without electrolytes, or, or I should say specifically without inorganic materials in your, in your fast, that's going to be vital. Okay, so be careful about the snake juice if you're worried about loose skin. Use fresh squeezed juice instead or use whole vitamins. Now, what, el what else plays into this uh, loose skin? Well, cellular dehydration plays a big role in loose skin, okay? Because what we're really dealing with is toxicity of the cells. The cells cannot release the, the toxicity um, and therefore, this process of autophagy doesn't take place the way it's supposed to, thus leaving us with the loose skin. So what does that mean? You need to hydrate. Now, hydrate does not mean drinking water, okay? Oftentimes, we refer, and even myself, we refer to it as drinking water, but that's not what hydration means because you could drink a gallon of water and your body will only utilize 3% of the water that you drink. OK, it's very important the type of water you drink and how you drink it. OK, there's also another factor that plays into this. Eating your water is huge. Like you if you you could actually focus more on eating your water and, and really you don't have to worry as much about drinking your water. All right. And the reason for that is structured water or energized water or. Uh, the fourth phase of water or whatever it is you want to call it. It's about the cellular water. Our bodies and our, our cells use a different type of water than the H2O that we drink. Okay. Understanding this is essential. Now, I know weight loss is a big thing for this channel and for a lot of you out there. I know that's the reason why you're looking at this video. So understand this. By hydrating well, you not only increase your chances of completely avoiding loose skin, but definitely reducing it. But in addition to that, you also will speed up your weight loss process. So these things are, are completely, they're totally related, right? Hydrating well certainly helps weight loss because weight loss is obviously it's your fat cells that are, you know, all inflamed with, um, toxicity and inflammation and all of that. Well, if you're hydrating them well, then they can release that stuff as it's supposed to, and you could lose weight much more efficiently. So there's a couple ways you can hydrate better. Obviously, eating your water is probably my number one uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, high water content, fruits and vegetables are going to be the best thing because they come with structured water packaged in them. OK, you can also do things to your water. So like you could put chia seeds in your water, chia seeds, once again, using the plants. OK, you could put lemon and lime in your water. OK, that, those are also things you could do to make your water more hydrating. In addition to that, you could use these these uh, these water bottles, these crystal water bottles that I've got. All right. If you're interested in a crystal water bottle, feel free to email me. I will be leaving the link in the description box as well as I'll be pinning it. You guys can check it out. I've got a ton of these bottles right now and I've got them all at a discounted price. I cannot advertise the price online per my agreement, but I, if you talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I can give you guys exclusive pricing on these bottles. You're not gonna find this pricing anywhere else on the internet. You can't go to Amazon and get them cheaper. All right, so I'm just letting you know that now. But the, 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 the water bottles use gemstones, okay, precious and semi-precious gems to constantly uh, put a natural frequency into the water, which changes the way the, the uh, water molecule clusters, thus making it more like that structured water or that cellular water, all right? 
Uh, it's a very interesting thing that happens. The water definitely uh, tends to taste different, especially if you're sensitive to you know, water and things like that. You could really taste the difference in the structure of water. Another way to hydrate better and to structure your water is to solar charge your water. I call it sun, sun charging the water. Uh, basically what you do is you, you, you take your water, you put it outside in a clear uh, glass jar, and you sit it outside in the sun. If you're getting direct sunlight, you could do it for just four hours. If you're getting indirect sunlight, you could do it for you know, an entire day or even two days. It's really up to you. I usually leave my water outside for up to three days or more, just depends. But that also does the same thing that the gemstones does. It's all the same thing. I just like to keep my water in the gem, gemstone bottle because water is very sensitive and it's easy to, um, you know, mutate. So I always want to reinforce it with that positive, harmonious frequency um, until it actually gets into my body. And so therefore, I hydrate really, really well. And, you know, I, I've been doing this for years now. This really, really works. Uh, and it shows with, you know, if you look at the, the history of the channel, the people we've brought on the channel, they're either dealing with no loose skin or very little loose skin. It has never been as bad as what you know some other individuals are dealing with as long as they have followed what i teach on this channel now that's not to say that everybody does some people kind of do their own thing and that is what it is yeah age plays a role yes genetics plays a role but the biggest piece of the puzzle is hydrating well and how you lose your weight okay one of last thing i want to point out is when it comes to hydrating, you wanna make sure that you're sipping your water slowly throughout the day. You don't wanna guzzle a ton of water because your body doesn't absorb it well. And what we're talking about is hydration. And when we talk about hydration, we're talking about the body absorbing it. If the body doesn't absorb it, if you wanna just down a gallon of water real quick or something like that, you're gonna pee it all out. You're not hydrating. It's, not, it's, it's, it's serving no purpose except stressing your organs. So. Keep that in mind. Hopefully you got something informational from this video. Uh, I teach this sort of thing on my academy all the time, the AHA Fasting Academy. Link is in the description box for that. I mean, I've got a ton of information on there. We just added a fitness portion to the academy where John's gonna be coaching and talking about um, the same deep dive on fitness as I do on wellness and, and, and health. John does on fitness. So it's phenomenal. You guys need to check that out. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I will see you all next time.